So today I decided to make a video talking about the leaderboards on CSGO for Xbox. Specifically the main leaderboard that most people look at on here. I've had a few people ask me if I could do a video talking about it and here we are. So starting it off, if you don't know which one it is, the main leaderboard on the Xbox version of CSGO that most people look at is the Total Stars MVP leaderboard for online competitive. Basically for the Total Stars competitive leaderboard, it just shows your total MVPs and ranks you off of that alone. And then it shows you how many bomb plants and bomb defuses and hostages rescued. Nobody really plays hostage anymore. Sometimes in casual you can get a full game going for that. But for the most part, no one pays attention to hostage, especially for competitive. And there are other game modes and four different types of leaderboards for each game mode. Uh, for casual, casual is not the best. Nobody really cares about that mode, except for some of the people that play casual, I guess. And of course, Arms Race and Demolition have their own as well. As far as the rest of the leaderboards, ranking-wise, they are completely messed up. And it's been like that since day one. The current world rankings shows your kills per round, deaths per round, and damage per round. But it hardly ever gets the ranking of players correct. It's usually mixed up randomly. And it's the same thing for the current kill-death ratio leaderboard. But KD on really any shooter game, I find that stat to be completely misleading anyway. Because most people that care about their KD, they usually just camp in a corner somewhere and they do not play the objective at all. It's like that across all shooter games as far as I'm concerned. And the last leaderboard that's shown for each and all the game modes is the total wins. Which shows your win percentage, total wins, and win percentage for CT side and also for T side. Once again, it's the same story here. The game hardly ever lists the right players on top of the leaderboard. How do I know that? Well, just using this as an example, if you look at mine for total wins, that's a decent amount. That's not the highest on the game for total wins, but still a decent amount. But guess what? It still lists me below people that have less than a thousand wins when I have nearly 50,000 at this point. It still puts me below people that don't even have more than a couple hundred wins. And I can also tell you that this leaderboard does not go off of win percentage either because I have the highest win percentage on this version of the game and it still puts my name below people that are nowhere near that percentage. So yeah, that's the main reason why people go off of this MVP leaderboard because the ranking system is so screwed up on the other ones for this game. But the one thing that people never stop and consider is that there are players high up on this list for total stars that have literally been playing this version of the game since the day it came out in 2012, which is literally the only reason why certain people are high up on the MVP leaderboard for competitive to begin with. However, you know, people assume because I'm so high up on the main leaderboard that I've been playing it since then. But that's actually not true at all. I bought the game in May of 2016. So there's people on here that have nearly four more years on this game compared to me. And also compared to most of the other people that actually play this game right now. Not every player has been playing it for eight years. And I'll be the first person to tell you, I don't give a shit about the leaderboards. I play the game to have fun and do occasionally share some content on YouTube. And I'll say this about the community on here. It's extremely toxic. On this game, there's plenty of people that have flat out taken this Xbox version of the game way too seriously over the years. Like the people in CSX, which is a complete joke if you ask me. This game was meant for people to have fun on Xbox. It was not meant for quote unquote pro matches or better yet, private matches on console CSGO. Some of those guys think they're better than PC CSGO players or actual pro CSGO players. And it's just so laughable. Most of these players are a flat out joke on Xbox CS, which goes without saying. But I've been playing this game long enough to tell you there are maybe a handful of players on Xbox CS, maybe five 
total from what I've seen that could actually hold their own in a standard PC CSGO match and do pretty well, in my opinion. I've tried it on PC, and I did pretty well. And there's two guys that I play with on Xbox CSGO every once in a while. They're a huge fan of the game, just like me. And they still play both the Xbox and PC version of this. And they are both above average on PC. And there's a few other guys that have been decent on both versions. Anyway, back to the leaderboards. Another reason why I personally don't care about the leaderboards on here is because of the cheaters. As far as the keyboard players on here, I know who they are. This game taught me what to look for when it came to that. And it's so easy to spot on this game. Especially when you factor in the game chat. When you can hear the clacking off of their shitty microphone, it's just ridiculous, man. They suck so bad at PC CSGO, they had to come to console and play against people who are using controllers. That statement says it all right there. And if they were to go against people on a fair playing field, they would not last five minutes playing against anybody. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's not a lot of cheaters on Xbox CSGO, especially not compared to PC. There's two guys I'm going to show here right now that use a mod menu, for instance, and they use that to get nothing but headshots on people. The game will register that as a headshot, even if they were to hit you in the foot sometimes. And there is some mouse and keyboard players on console that I just showed you a second ago. And in total, I'd probably say there's a couple hundred out of about 10,000 players for competitive that use a mouse and keyboard on console CSGO. But when you look at the top 100 players for the competitive MVP leaderboard that I just showed you, I can tell you without any doubt in my mind that there's currently about 20 keyboard players in the top 100. And that's not including some of the people that have been removed from this leaderboard in the past for long-term inactivity. But once you get removed, you get removed. So yeah, that's my reasoning to why the leaderboards don't really matter much, at least to me. When you have ignorant people that have to cheat because they aren't good enough at a game, it just screws over other people. And I mean... That's at least 20 people that should not be there. That's taking away 20 spots for other people that don't actually cheat at all and that actually use a controller on console. If you play on console, you are supposed to play with a controller. It's as simple as that. It does not matter if the game is known for the PC version. Any game that you play on console, you need to use a controller. And I will continue to say that time and time again. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to say here. Thanks for checking this video out, guys. And remember, if you do want to look at your stats for your own personal reasons, or if you want to see the total player count for a specific game mode on here for Xbox CSGO, just go to My Accomplishments and then Leaderboards and adjust it to the game mode accordingly. And just so you know, you do need to play at least one round recently in each game mode to see the player counts and statistics. But anyway, I'm out. Thanks for watching.